Hey guys, wanted to give an update. Well, first let's start off with the uh, sunflowers, which are no more. Uh, we had some wind come and uh, blow some of them over, and it looked pretty sorry over here, so ended up, whoop, wrong way, ended up uh, just pulling them all out. We do have some tomatoes growing over here from last year, so I threw up a cage for them. Uh, I haven't watered them or anything. These are cherry tomatoes. And uh, just seeing what happens with them. Now we have the chicken update here. Hi, everybody. Oh, there's Frank. Hi, Frank. What are you doing? Frank's a guinea. Guinea fowl? Let's go see the ducks and the uh, and the new coop for the chickens. Hi. Yeah, they're loud. <laughs> so we started with two ducks, ended up with uh, six. There's a mom and dad in there. All right, let's see the uh, inside the new coop. We got a new nesting box. Oh, coverall in there. Or not a coverall, a uh, bird rock. Hi. Oh, there's some eggs in there. Gotta get those. They don't lay too much in the top ones. There's the uh, roosting bars I made. All right, let's go take a look at the garden. Oh, here's a fun update. So my brother-in-law brought over uh, some pumpkins and gourds last year for the chickens. And uh, we put them right there on the grass and a couple of them rotted and just went into the ground. So now we have uh, grown something. Might have a pumpkin patch, right? It looks like a pumpkin right there. It's pretty big, it's about six or seven inches round. So we'll find out. We saw it growing, figured let it go. So on the way over to the garden, We'll stop and look at the couple trees I cut down. There was a weeping cherry here that was dead. So he's gone. And then there was an ash over here that I cut down because he was dead. Now we're coming up on the uh, garden here. And I gotta water these more. So these are uh, pretty tall. The tops of these are um, about five feet. And they're at least a foot or two above that, some of them. So they're about seven foot tall tomatoes. Didn't have any um, cages left over for these ones down here. So they're kind of falling off to the side. And then we have uh, pole beans, pretty big ones. Coming in, and these ones didn't take. And wrapping it up here. Here's some of the wood from the ash. There's the weeping cherry wood. 
uh, some other wood I got, and then a bunch of random wood I got from both of those. Here's the uh, fire pit. We're gonna um, we got some some free pavers here, so we're gonna replace some of the broken ones, maybe extend it bigger if we can. And then uh, my other brother-in-law gave us some uh, some millings that we can put around the the base of the fire pit where we're gonna put chairs and things. The other update is we had our tile replaced on the pool. Let's go take a look at that. So filling that up now. That's gonna take a while. I called around to see how much it would cost to uh, for one of those water delivery services to come, and they want like $275 for about 5,500 gallons, and this is a 26,000 or 30,000 gallon pool, so it would be over $1,000 just to fill it. So I called the company that installed our uh, well pump a few months ago. They said I can use the well, it's deep enough, just uh, run it every, you know, run it for a couple hours, turn it off for a couple hours, let things catch up, and then turn it off overnight, so things catch up. So I threw a little chlorine floater in there, because I can't have the pool running until it's full. But it's looking pretty clear and nice. That's it. Those are the updates. So, thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, uh, please subscribe and let me know what you think of the video. Leave a comment below for me. See you next time.